All right, sup nerds, I have here four tips to get you wrinkle-free molds every time, and you need to stick around at the end to hear all of these tips because you could be experiencing more than one issue. So the first two tips are actually gonna help 90% of people dealing with mold press issues. And the theme of these first two tips is timing. The first tip is easily the most easy tip. Allow your mold press machine a solid 10 minutes of heating up before trying to make molds. I know I can be impatient and I had to learn this lesson the hard way, but I found out to get the best results, I had to wait a full 10 minutes before starting to make molds. Tip number two. I've seen a lot of you struggling in the Facebook mold press groups, and so I think this next tip is gonna help the majority of you. But you should actually form your plastic based on your object height and your droop height. Let's explain. What is the droop height? As your plastic heats, it'll begin to droop. You know, as it heats, it'll be wobbly at first, then eventually smoothing out. And as it smooths out, that means that that plastic has got a smooth and even heated surface. So what does that mean for us? Let's say you have a super shallow object you wanna make a mold of. The second your mold press has a fairly even droop, meaning like all the wrinkles have kind of gotten out and you've got a, just a nice consistent droop. That means your plastic is heated evenly and is ready to go. Now, if you let it droop for even a minute longer than that, you'll struggle to get a good mold. So you may notice that we left the plastic heating under the element for longer than we should have, and these are the results you will get. Not ideal, so how do we fix this? Let's see what happens when we form the mold when the plastic just begins to droop. I hope you can see the improvement, but just real quick, let's do a side-by-side -side so we can see. In the side-by-side, -side, it is clear the real winner here is timing. Now this doesn't mean always use a shallow droop. If you have a taller object, you'll want to let your plastic droop to about half the height of that object. And it really takes time to master your molds. So let's go to the next two tips to help further beyond that. I believe another big problem I see when people are using the mold press, and this is not an easy problem to solve, but you're getting your wrinkles on your squares. 90 degree angles create wrinkles. That should honestly be on a poster. 90 degree angles, you gotta get wrinkles. And so how do we fix this? We shimmy on up to our detail clay, creating shims, putting them in the corners of our molds like this. And let's take a quick pause to give a quick tip. This is not We Are Detail Clay. This is just off the shelf polymer clay. Back to the YouTube video at hand. Uh, you'll be making the shims with the clay for the plastic to form around and it should help reduce these wrinkles around 90 degree corners. And tip number four is the best tip for all the newbies out there. If you're just getting started, listen up. So my first few tips have been about mastering the droop, but at first you may struggle to master the droop. So if that is happening, Let's take your polymer clay, create shims of polymer clay around your objects being formed to eat up that extra plastic. And bada boom, you got the perfect molds every time, regardless of your expertise with vacuum forming. And that's it for our tips and tricks with the mold press and vacuum forming in general. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them and I'll address them. Thanks for watching guys, and watch this video on the two must have tools every vacuformer needs.